Look what's there, guys. A nice Chevelle. Mm-hmm. What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 with Creepy with another video. Today guys we are heading to Michigan on a four hour drive to go check out this 1986 Pontiac Paracene. Similar to a box Chevy, a Caprice. Um, been chasing this car for a while now guys. And hey, we are back on the road back to doing what we like to do and that is finding these old cars you know um, I feel like it's just getting harder and harder guys um, finding like cars like especially unmolested I don't know like if they're just like they're all being discovered or I don't know if they're just being hidden or being scrapped being crushed I, I don't know they just I kind of feel like it's getting a little little harder like every day um, I look a lot for cars it's just a lot of them don't catch my eye I like to find like old cars that are like, in really good shape as far as like originality unmolested with like very very minimal rust and that's a hard thing to do guys because they're just old cars, you know? Most of these cars are like 30 plus 30 years old, 20. Like they're just they're just old guys. So like they they're gonna have something wrong. But sometimes I feel like you just can't get too picky because like I said, they're just hard to come across. Um, I look a lot in different states, different areas, like it don't matter where you look, it's just a lot of these cars are just I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, you know, there was an answer to find all these cars, you know, but I'm pretty sure everyone asks that question all the time, like, how do you find them? Where, where did it look to? Like, there's really, like, no, no cheat code for that, guys. Like, it's just searching, you know? Like, you gotta look everywhere, no matter where it is. It could be Offer Up, Craigslist, eBay, Marketplace on Facebook um, sometimes Google sometimes on the local newspaper if they even have local newspaper um, it's just there's really no cheat code for this guys uh, so it's I don't know like it's just becoming harder and harder you know I feel like there's not that many left like there is but there ain't I just I don't know what's going on but we're still gonna try, you know, no matter what, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep going because that's what we like to do. That's what I like to do. And I'm not gonna stop, you know. I just, I've been doing it pretty much my whole life and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. So, back to this car, guys. I'm excited about this car because the color on it is just nice. Uh, it's got that rose color. So, I like that color a lot. And when that car, like when that color is in good shape, it just, the, the, the old cars look nice. I had, back then I had like an 80, what year was that? I think it was an 87 Buick Regal, the same color. It was T-top, loved it. Uh, what else did I have that color? Well, I don't think I had that many, but color's nice. Uh, I had a couple, I think I had one or two Caprices that color as well back then. They were just classics. Similar to the land that we went to just go see in, uh, in Dallas not too long ago guys with the whole crazy story but yeah guys y'all gonna see once we pull up there uh, I've been trying to get a hold of this car for a while now we've actually been talking back and forth like for months and it's just been hard communicating with her because um, I guess she doesn't really check her her messages or whatnot so uh, the last time that we were pretty much close on uh, the day to come see it I wasn't around and she 
told me that there was someone else coming to look at the car so that she would let me know that if it was sold or not and she never she never got back to me so i thought it did sell because i figured like whoever goes see this car they're gonna buy it from the pictures guys this car looks pretty nice but no she never let me know and um i will match her a lot guys after that just to see if it was still available and she got back to me actually on friday and we set it up for today and now i'm on my way so like i said earlier it's about four hour drive we got about an hour and a half left and i am excited to see this thing anytime we uh find a clean unmolested one owner car guys i'm I just excited to see that like i know it's gonna it's gonna have a good story and it's gonna be clean uh, well from the pictures it looks super clean i hope i'm not wrong when i get there but like i said they are old cars and you just don't know what you uh, what you're gonna get you know when you get there so i mean we've been on the road there's really not much to see guys let me show y'all not much to see here guys but it is peaceful you know just be uh just sitting here thinking of stuff and you know just relaxing enjoying the listening to music and stuff so but enough with the talking guys i'm gonna check back with y'all once we get closer and uh see what's up with this car hopefully we can make a deal because i like that car oh yeah guys i like coming to michigan and being on this back roads you get to see a lot of this uh farm stuff and you know this is where i feel like some of these old cars might be stashing you know you never know so i just um just remember that i, I had picked up a couple cars out here in michigan not necessarily where i'm at right now but i have found like like a lot of 98 uh from out here like the regency the brohan ones yeah um did i get a piercing over here i don't remember i know it's been you know it's a lot of cars but to remember but yeah there's always like michigan got a lot of nice cars guys because it's like a lot of like a lot of farmland I, I believe so so i don't know i just always be coming across some nice cars when i come like to this this roads and stuff you know so yep and i like seeing all this stuff it's pretty cool The only thing about this is like they don't be like no uh <laughs> no gas stations and stuff and i am running low on gas so definitely gonna have to stop and find some a gas station those are some nice horses right there mm -hmm. got really nice colors all right guys it looks like we are finally arriving to our destination we had to make a pit stop and put gas because all these back roads don't really be having gas and since i don't know where i'm going i really didn't want to just risk on running out of gas so we made a pit stop and filled it up again so now we are going to be pulling up here in just two minutes where the car is going to be located at least we made it here on time on the daylight. We get to see it, you know. We got this long road. We can actually test drive it as well. It says there, do not pass. Okay, we are not gonna pass. But it's been a nice smooth ride. I seen a lot of animals. I seen uh, like uh, what that thing, them things called guys. Uh, them horses carrying them like. Uh, carts and carousels what they call it? like uh, the Amish people yeah uh, I've seen a couple of those so pretty interested uh, trip okay where are we going where are we going okay it says a little bit more a little bit more okay okay always in the back roads Nice and peaceful over here though. Okay, we are one minute up. Oh, we gotta 
stop sign. You guys are probably like, come on, hurry up. Go ahead, sir. Okay, okay. coming up right here guys this is the house oh, it's got a it's got a pool yep there it is I see the car guys You're okay, let me come all the way in here. Look at that. Check it out, guys. They got a hotel in case we want to stay here. Is that open? No. <laughs> is there a bathroom in there? There isn't. It's just a playhouse. Oh, it's just a playhouse? Yeah. So it's all like together? Yeah, so there's like... I can show you. I can show you them. It looks pretty cool. So um, my dad had a business partner who built these for me when I was little. Maybe, I don't know. What is this? She's got plants in here right now, but I used to play in here when I was little. Nice. And then, um, do you have like a YouTube channel or something? Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. I travel and uh, buy old cars. Okay. This one has more play stuff, but, but yeah, this is just what they are. Oh, has pretty a little cool. table that folds down. Reminds me of the little rascal's house. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, right. But yeah. So he built this for you guys? Um, my dad had a, had a um, my dad worked in lumber and he had a um, couple who owned a sawmill. And I think they did these on the side. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't know how old I it was. Start, you were like four, but it started out with this one here. And You're she right. said, can we sleep in this, Dad? The art house. Can we sleep yeah. in this? It's pretty cool. And, and then this one came after that. Yeah. Did you show him the table? How the table came I showed him that. I didn't yeah, pull yeah. it down, but. Wait, I just had a, a dilemma a week mm -hmm. and a half okay. ago. A child got caught in there. Couldn't get it. For real? Couldn't get out. Couldn't well, take the lock and unlock it, so I had to break the glass. Oh, that's why it's that broken? Glass, and I haven't put it in back in yet. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that kind of stuff no. over there, you know? <laughs> so this is the car. This yeah. is it. So, are you the original owner, or? Her uh, parents are. My parents are. Okay. Yeah, and then what happened is they gave it to my daughter. Okay. And, um, yeah. They gave it to you? Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I just kept it in my name mm -hmm. because of her age and stuff. Okay. And they gave it to me when I, I bought it for like 50 bucks. Nice. When I was 15. 50 so bucks. I had to turn out for the basketball team because that was fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, I drove it one year when I turned 16. And then other than that, they really drove it to Florida one time. Other than that, it's been inside. Did the uh, did the other guy came or no? No. Oh okay. No. I remember uh, you were telling me that somebody was coming to look I at it. Have been playing a, a hard game of Facebook it's, marketplace. Yeah, it's pretty annoying, right? So it's a it's a whole other it's a whole other thing for sure. It's like a hundred people messaging you like that automatic is it still yeah. available? Yeah. It's still so great. And it's yeah. Like, it's like yeah, like yes. If it wasn't available, it wouldn't be out. I know, I don't know why people even send that, like... Mm -hmm. 
and then like like I, I think I messaged you like 20 times because it wouldn't go through. I was like, I didn't know like. I kept also like I don't know if my Facebook realized I was like blocking people for spamming, and so it was like filtering, but it like filtered a bunch of people too. It was super weird. Yeah, I just seen uh, cause I was looking for a boat, and somebody okay. had put a boat out here in Michigan, and like you message them, and then they will ask you for your phone number, and then they say that they're gonna send you a code yeah, to. To see if you're real or something, I was yeah. like, ah. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. So, if there's anything wrong with the car or that needs attention, I know you were saying just a, just something. A of things. So, one thing I, I mentioned about the windshield wipers not working, we, um, when we were storing the car, we had kept the battery, the negative, unhooked to keep the battery from um, draining. Okay. And I think what happened was the battery connection was coming loose because today when we started it up, I tried the windshield wipers and they were working fine. Oh, okay. So maybe like a bad ground? It could have been. Okay. Um, the only... we just put, we, we hooked it up. We just drove it down to yeah. my mother-in-law's and then around. And we didn't hook it up very tight. So I'm wondering if that was uh -huh. it. So this, this antenna right here is supposed to go up and down. Yeah. Um, and it stuck up. When I first started driving it when I was 15, it it just stayed up. So I didn't care about it. I think if you if you did care, you could get a new motor for it. Um, and then the same thing when I had it, the Oda or the gas gauge doesn't work. So I have a little tracker here that we just mark <laughs> when we fill it up. So how many miles you get? You think for a gallon that you know? That's a good question. Do you remember how many? I, I, I want to say it was like, I feel like I did it around like every two to 250 just because I was like, I never I want to be remember. stranded. Yeah, oh, so you were, you were just fill it up and yeah, then, I just fill, I okay. just keep it like full. <laughs> yeah. So there's no, uh, putting $10 and think, you know. No, <laughs> no. Actually, older car, so yeah. like, the gas mileage was not as like efficient. So I was like, I'm not messing with it. Yeah. And then, um. The air conditioning. The air conditioning, yeah. So that's, we, that's easy fix. We had a friend who, um. You're not like an official mechanic, but he does a lot of work on cars. We noticed that the air wasn't blowing out super cold. Okay. And he said the type of Freon that is used is no longer being sold, but it so can be to converted it, yeah. to another kind. So yeah. you're probably familiar yeah. with it. Yeah. 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 So just little things like that. I yeah. feel like the, the car, the body condition, everything about it is in perfect condition, I think. Mm -hmm. Just needs somebody who knows how mm -hmm. to do a couple of those smaller things. Yeah, the paint don't look bad. I think with a good buff, it's going to bring I back. Agree. Yeah, the... and, it's, and it's been covered. Okay. It's been covered, and yeah. It, it has a little bit of dust on it. Yeah, you can and see it. And I didn't want right. to, you know, rub it in and scratch it. Okay. Yeah. There, yeah. Is, there is one scratch mark, and that is a little finger mark, like right here. And I think that could be buffed out. But I think that's the only... That's the only scratch. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't see any rust on it. No, mm -hmm. no. It's always it been used stored. to. It used to have the white wall tires, and which was really really cool. But when but, I yeah. But they asked me if I wanted white walls. I said, Nah, it's okay. Just throw those ones on. And they're brand new. They are two years old. Two years old. And they haven't been. They haven't been drove on very much. These are. Yeah, I wonder yeah. they're. So did they? When you bought, did you, when you bought them, were they white walls, or did they just ask you when you were buying no, them? That's a good question. Because sometimes they sometimes just are they flipped. Flip them. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't remember. No, I don't see a line. Yeah, I think I think if I remember right, the white walls were a little bit more, and I said oh, okay. I just throw the normal ones. On. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. But yeah. the white wall gives it more. Yes, a class. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And yeah. that could be changed. That's easy to change. If it had wireless right now, it would be like more yeah, like. I know. You know, yeah. yeah. It looks pretty nice though. Yeah. yeah. I like that it's all original. You know, it's not. Yes, yes. This is an 86. Yep. yep. Yeah, we were just looking at some of the paperwork. And um, when my grandma bought it, when they bought it new, it had 115 miles on it. So all the miles have, um, have come from the family, which is mm -hmm. fun. So what's the mileage right now? It's like at 31. Almost 32 if I remember. 32? 31,617. So 31,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Original miles. Yep. Yep. See the dashes, no cracks. See the mileage. Oh yeah, 31,000. Nice.
The seed works? Yep. Yep. This car, like, this is a Broham? Bro? Yeah. I don't really know what all the different models the, are of it, but... The only thing that... I'm not, like, I'm a Caprice guy, so okay. I don't really know a lot from, yeah. you know? But... I don't know why uh, it doesn't have the rag top, the vinyl top. I don't know. I don't Being know that it's a Broham, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Style. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably gonna have to read or yeah. somebody in the comments is gonna tell me why. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I really don't know why. But it is the loaded one. It has everything. Yeah. It's got the power windows. Hey. Power locks. Look at here. If you smoke. No, I don't smoke. <laughs> but if, if you, you smoke. Did. Yeah, the ashtray. Nobody smoked. Yeah, in here. It's got a little lint. Fuzzies. So you used to drive this back in the day? I drove it for yeah one year. That's and it. I was like, well, first of all, it was like super nice, like a super nice car. And it was like, uh, I don't know if I want to a boat. Drive this boat every day. So she, get, she went from a boat to a Volkswagen. Yeah, I, I got a Volkswagen Beetle after this one. How long ago was that when you bought a fifty dollars? When I was fifteen, so that would have been two thousand and nine. Oh, okay. So that wasn't too long ago. No. I thought I thought it was like way like I didn't know like times, you know. No, yeah. So. I think two thousand nine. I would have been a freshman, so that that would make sense. Yeah. That's, this is what I used to drive in high school. I graduated in 07. Okay. So like this is what I used yeah. to drive. But it's they fun. could, yeah, they're they're nice cars, and they they did feel big back then. So. Yeah. I mean, it feels big, like especially now. I don't know. I think it's the hood combined with like the really skinny steering wheel. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Can you uh, open the trunk? Yeah, for sure. It's a, it drives nice. Really I, I believe it. Like, just by looking at it, I can tell it probably does. It just floats. Especially over here, you guys got a, like, uh, empty roads that are yeah. just long-wise. Yeah, right. So it does got all the full carpet, spare tire. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I had, uh, flew in to buy a car, um, uh, from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a, but I flew in and I drove back, right? And I uh, flew in and I made sure I had a spare tire. Oh, yeah. On the way home, I caught three <laughs> flat tires. Oh my you gosh. Got three? Yeah, three flat tires. That's really bad. Were the luck. tires bad? They didn't look bad. They didn't look bad. And then when I put the spare, it's like the spare laughed at me because I put it on and not even five minutes. It just. Oh, Are gosh. you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> this is, I mean, you know about these, but the gas, the gas tanks under here under the license plate. Yeah. Nice. So do you have older cars too? Yeah, I uh, have 70s. I got a 71, couple 71 Impala Caprices. Oh, okay. And, uh, Chevy Impala? Yeah, I'm a Chevy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I had. I had a 69 Chevy Impala. Oh, those are you nice. You know what I did? Me and my friend, I wanted to know the, the gear was on the column. I wanted to know what it was like to go from like 30 and just downshift it yeah. into first. Yeah. Oh, I found out. <laughs> I found out. And I thought, oh my gosh, I better tell my dad what I did. So all he said to me was, you found out in a hurry, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, those are nice cars. They're hard to come across now. Yeah. A lot of them are not like in good shape. Even these are hard, you know? Mm-hmm. See how the end. Especially with low miles. Yeah, we, uh, this car has the extra number, but like all the other ones, they don't have like the extra number, okay. so you can't even like. Yeah. Everybody says or claims that they have low miles, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because this one doesn't have the yeah. the number in the yeah. front, but like all the older yeah. vehicles, they don't have the one or the two yeah. or the yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, this thing is super nice with a good detail. Well, I had to tell my story about my downshifting story. <laughs> you know? hey, every car has a story. Yeah, I know. Every car my has car, a story, you know? A story. <laughs> and what you, what happened to it? Nothing. It was great. No, but I'm saying... What, you just sold it? You sold oh, it? I sold it. Oh, yeah. you sold it? Yeah, I sold it. <laughs> The battery is new on it. I think it was re just replaced last year, last September. And I had the okay. paper. So that, that's good for another three years. Mm -hmm. And the oil one. change? Uh, you, have to, you know, I don't remember. No. To be, to be honest with you. Let me just check it. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Might be a little dirty. Mm. Anything might be a little dirty. 
dusty. <laughs> so when's the last time you drove it? A couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago I was down, um, we drove it down to my grandparents, but like because it's on the historical license plate, it's not, like we don't, we drive don't it. have it insured. We have it insured, but not insured for the road. Not insured, for, yeah. For it's, it's just it's just for, for fire like fire and, and theft right now. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. just fire and theft. Because it's sitting, because it's just sitting right now. But um, like we we start it regularly, and like I said, we unplug the battery to yeah. keep yeah. it from draining and stuff. But can you start it up? Yeah, for sure. Don't put me in the video. You're already in that. Video. Oh, <laughs> she's been out of the whole video. <laughs> Somehow somebody's gonna relate to your story. Oh, oh. They're gonna be like, hey, we did that too, you know? Does it leak anything at all? No. Yeah, I'm just asking, you know? Okay, sounds nice and quiet. Really no shaking. Let's see how the underneath looks. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, clean. Well, guys, let me uh, finish talking to them. Uh, you guys already know I'm not even gonna test drive it just by looking at it. I want it. And being that I'm four hours away, just it's going to make it happen, guys. Let's just talk numbers and see what happens. Doesn't that sound good? Do it again. <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> All right, guys. A 1986 Pontiac Paracene is going back with us. Thank you to these young ladies for the car. Yeah, and I'm, I'm shedding my tears. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> At least we have a memory here, so you can go back yeah. online. I mean, on YouTube, and you can see the video. Yep. Oh, okay. I'll show you. So, okay. I'll yeah. send you guys, or just yeah, yeah. the name on the tow truck. I'll look up your I'll look yeah. up your YouTube page. It's great. Yeah, you might like some cars there. You might not. Okay, so <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. All right. Well, I appreciate it. You know, yeah. you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hope guys. You a safe trip back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hope everything turns out good for you. It's been a good. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll get that right away. <laughs> Thank you. I really do. I'm so sorry about that. So I didn't even test drive it, Kate, but it's fine. Oh. <laughs> this is my test drive on the tow truck. All right, thank you again. Take care, thank you. All right, guys, time to load it up. Super excited about this car. Really like it. Condition on this car is just immaculate. Look at this. 31,000 miles, guys. Jeez. Can't say barn fine because that's the barn and it wasn't in the barn. It is pretty much a one owner car, guys, with a nice history. Oops, come on, doesn't want to leave, guys. <laughs> nope, don't want to leave. All right, we're just gonna have to put it on the... You know what, we're just gonna let it roll and go back up. There we go. Oh yeah, can't wait to drive this guys. Super excited. We are four hours. And I wanna get back home to the family. Hey, look at that. There's the thing she was talking about, the um, cute uh, track of the miles because the gas needle don't work. Says we got three quarters right now, but I don't know if it works. Ugh.
right guys locked and loaded she is ready to go back to illinois just want to show you guys the underneath how clean it is nice you can tell a lot from a car from sitting when you see all these spider webs look at that look at all the spider webs right here guys i'm gonna be taking some uh spider eggs and all type of stuff but look how clean this super clean i'm excited about this one guys first thing is first we got to get some white walls that's first because it's going to bring this car back to life i mean right now it just looks so good but once we put them uh, white walls it's going to change a lot on it so we're going to have to get some white walls i don't know if i got some i might have some at the shop i have to check but we got it i'm happy it was exactly what i expected guys and now we're on our way home but get in the comments section, you guys and let me know what y'all think of our latest pickup this 1986 pontiac paracene brome broham now um if somebody knows why this car did not come with a top let me know is that was that an option back then on the pair of scenes of having the rag top the vinyl top however you guys call it the vinyl top let me know but super nice car guys like it can't wait all right guys it's about that time to get something to eat because i am starving now let's see what they have over here in this This stop right here, I think it's like a truck stop. Look at how the sky looks. That looks dope, right? Looks pretty dope. Uh, should I park? Where should I park? I think I'm gonna park over here. I think these are all the semis. I can kind of fit, you know, where the cars go. I'll probably park. I don't even know what they gotta eat over here. We gonna check. Am I supposed to park? Oh, I'll probably just park right here. Oh yeah, there's parking right here. I don't even know. Oh, they got Popeyes. Yeah, Popeyes and what else? I don't know what they got here, guys, but we're gonna get something to eat just because we are hungry. Let me just park right here, take double parking. Okay, okay. Let's go see what they have, guys. Ugh. Ooh, that bad boy looks clean still. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to wash it and drive it. You guys already know, first is first. We gotta get them white walls. I don't know what I'm eating over here, guys. There's no Chick-fil-A. We actually haven't had Chick-fil-A in a while. Uh, it says something in New York there, pizza. I don't know. Dunkin' Donuts? You guys know I always drink coffee. We might get some coffee. Nah, no coffee. Oh, it's closed? Oh, no. Use the other door. Gotcha. All right, guys. Well, let me get some of these. Womp, womp, womp. Guys, everything was closed. We got here late. I don't know where they're going to have some more food. Because on the way here, I only seen two of these things. The Oasis. Oh well, hopefully we see something else. Woohoo! Can't get enough of that car. One more time. One more time. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Might have to park this one next to Lucky. Well, I guess Culver's it is, guys. 
had to do a detour to get this because on the highway that I am, there's not a lot of restaurants. This one actually closed at 12, so we are good. So let's go inside and get us some food.